Hello, welcome to a brand new series of Wolf Quest. I've been wanting to do this for so long, but I kind of wanted to wait until winter because it feels like a very season appropriate time to play this game. Also, that means I can add the alliteration of Wild Wolf Winter and also Wednesdays because that's when I'll be uploading it. It is almost the 10th anniversary of Wolf Quest, so there should be an update maybe sometime soon. Maybe something relating to the third episode they're supposed to be bringing out in, it says the first quarter of 2018, but who knows, maybe they'll give us a little sneak preview and I think it's the 21st of December. Yeah, I think that's what it's going to be. So I kind of wanted to get into this series early, so in case there are any changes from the 10th anniversary, we can now play this version before that happens. So I'm gonna go ahead into single player and make a brand new game, because we've got to go through the whole thing of like, oh yeah, I've got a name that goes 2017, because I made some little gifts with uh, the anniversary from like 2007 to 2017, so we're probably not gonna use 2017. I want a more kind of normal wolf name and a brand new one with no experience, just a new fresh baby wolf to go on a brand new adventure. So let's go here and what should we... let's see what should we go for. I kind of do want something a bit more mysterious. You know, something like a night... oh look at this cool looking black wolf with his grey markings. Actually, I don't know if it's entirely true but I have heard that all black wolves are actually a colour morph from dogs. They're all they're all descended from domestic dogs. There are no actual wild, truly black wolves. Now I definitely I, I'll have to look that up and then maybe I'll either put a little disclaimer here or I'll acknowledge in the next part. But that's that's what I've read anyway, and I didn't see anyone dispute it. So that might be interesting actually. If maybe we play a half dog, like not necessarily a wolf dog, but one that's had some dog genes way way back through the generations. So. Oh, yeah, maybe we will go with the with a black coat. So maybe this one here, or maybe this, maybe the packs from the Deer Plateau. Because something about this game, if you've never played it before, is this is actual, this is an actual recreation of Yellowstone Park, and they have specific packs from the park. So like we have the Blacktail Deer and the Lamar Canyon, and in the games you have like the Druid Wolves and other packs. I can't actually remember the name of now, but we'll see those later on when we go exploring. Let's go back to this black one here, and it has very cute, like, little markings under the eyes. I really like those, so yeah, I think I'll go with that. And let's maybe bring it down just a little, maybe put it more into the greys again, more of the, like, the tawny colour. Bring it down just midway, not fully, but just like, so there's a little bit of grey showing. I kind of, yeah, that's a cool looking wolf. I kind of want someone speedy, so we'll bump that stamina up a bit, because I like being able to chase after the prey quite a long time because if the stamina is low you have to stop and start constantly and that's not very good for a wolf. Um, I think we'll bring the strength down a bit because as long as I can speed up to my prey uh, I don't need to be that strong I just have to have you know the stamina to keep going at them so probably the stamina is a bit too high there we kind of want to balance between that and speed so let's see. If we get the speed up to about 70, yeah, and bring the strength down to 26, yeah, and the stamina's at about 52, I think. I think that's a nice, <laughs> we've got a very nice little level there too, like little steps of stats going up. And now it's time to choose our wolf's distinctive howl. Let's go ahead and listen to this one. Oh, that is very mournful and lonely. <laughs> what about number three? Oh, that sounds pained. That, that sounds really uncomfortable. Probably not that one. What about four? That's the very... I think that's the first howl you had in the game before they added all these new ones. That's kind of nostalgic to me. And five? There's another very haunting howl. I quite like that one. That's very mysterious. Goes well with the, with the fur pattern. What about number six? sounds so sad and just really like they're lost and they don't know where the pack is and they're all alone maybe not that one that's a little heartbreaking so what is seven like <laughs> that is a very weak howl that is not a strong wolf which probably goes well with the strength we've got and the last one oh actually we haven't done number one yet because it wouldn't let me so what is number eight? Oh wow 
that is um, that's not that's a, that's a that's like a yearling wolf who doesn't really know how to howl yet. Probably not that one. Let's see what is the last one. I think that one might be the original howl, not number four, because that sounds very familiar to. Um, I think I'm gonna go for that mysterious one, number five. I think that has a very nice quality to it. It's very soulful, very enigmatic. I think that kind of fits the wolf we have going on here with that lovely dark coat. Um, oh, that's right, we can go into body, can't we? I was going to go jump right into the names, but I forgot we can have some little accessories here. Like, we can have a little... I don't think you can really see it until he fully turns around, but there's like a little, like, ink in the ear there, which I really like. That's very cute. Just going to wait for the wolf to turn slowly around and almost there we go yeah you can see there's a little like dip in the ear there and it's a called sort of torn ear which you well you can't really see it at this distance but it looks like it's had a bite taken out of the ear which looks very scrappy and aggressive we can also have a little folded over ear so it's almost like a little puppy whose ears haven't fully pointed up yeah that's a very cute one and we can put it on the other side I really do like that one. I usually use that one a lot for my wolf's bodies because it's very sweet. Oh, we can have a radio collar, which looks like the wolf has been tagged as being, you know, watched over by some humans doing research, which is a cool little feature. Or we can have a little limpy leg, <laughs> and the wolf looks like they've been injured before and probably, you know, realistically would have a hard time surviving in the wild with a limpy leg. So maybe we could have like a really tough, scrappy wolf who, despite their injuries, is doing really well, survived all the way through, has had, you know, many babies. That'd be an interesting one, but um... I think I'd like to go for the radio collar, because yeah, let's say that this wolf here is uh, kind of a... I think we start the game as a two-year-old wolf, so this is kind of a young guy, and the humans are now watching him to see you know, maybe he's just been recently reintroduced to Yellowstone and they kind of want to know how he's getting on, if he's going to survive, how many generations he can spawn, if he finds a mate, if he's successful. I really do like that backstory there, so what should we name this new wolf who's just entered Yellowstone for the first time? We kind of want something that goes with the mournful howl and the, um, the cool little markings, don't we? Maybe something quite domestic, because, like we said, he's probably descended from a dog at some point, so... Like, I don't know... Should we name him Rover? Because, <laughs> uh, you know, that kind of brings to mind, like, a wolf that's just roaming the landscapes of Yellowstone, but is also kind of fluffy and innocent, like a little domestic dog. I... I... yeah, I think we're gonna go with Rover. I do... I thought I'd be here forever, you know, trying to think of a decent name, but I think that kind of puts together all the things this wolf says, you know, descended from a domestic animal, but they also like roaming all over the world. I think Rover is a very appropriate name. And let's jump right in with Rover. Here we go. You are a two-year-old grey wolf born on the northern range of Yellowstone National Park. You learned the ways of the wolf in your birth pack. Now it's time for you to find a home and build your own family. But first you must learn to survive, find and hunt elk. Once you've mastered that, you can begin your quest to find a mate. So now what we have to do is look around all the different wolf te uh, territories scattered all over the map and find our potential loving mate. When food is readily available, the life of a wild wolf is relatively easy. But what difficulty do we want to play on? Well, I kind of don't want to fail this early on, so let's just bring ourselves on pretty easy for now. Maybe as the series continues, we can make it a bit harder for ourselves, but for now, we just want to know, find a mate, find some food, and we have instantly got an elk down there. I think you always start out with this elk here. Oh, I don't want to run and scare it off just yet. I think this is supposed to be an elk that's kind of weak and has separated from their herd. So it's a nice little introduction to the game. I'm sorry if this is a bit choppy, by the way. Usually it plays a bit better than this, but I think recording with OBS in the background has made it a bit iffy. I'll probably look at the settings later on so we can... um. You know, I don't have this... We want to see this beautiful Yellowstone landscape. We don't want choppiness. So what I'm doing now is holding shift to sneak up on this elk. Oh! Did it notice me already? Yeah, you can see the health is super low. So this poor little elk, you know, it's the circle of life and all. They're getting pretty sick. She's, you know, maybe she's old, maybe she's injured. And this is a pretty good opportunity for a healthy adult wolf to go and find their first snack. So we just want to sneak up 
and the wind's hopefully not- oh there she goes there we go chase after her I am yeah I build up my speed way high so we are pretty much just on the tail of this elk just yeah there you go we're just gonna hang on to the back of this poor girl until we eventually you know what just while I'm here I'm just gonna bring down the settings because that's getting kind of a problem where beautiful uh how's beautiful is that a lot better uh, that's kind of okay I don't know something's kind of going weird with these uh, settings oh my stamina is pretty low so I just want to hang back oh try and keep her in vision where did she go I've already lost her what about scent mode oh she's all over the place I've already lost my first elk I'm just going in circles where did she go oh there she is she's somewhere down here I think or maybe no how did she how did she manage to escape me that quickly? I can't even see her zoom. Where did she go? She kind of got on fire. She was really injured. <laughs> oh, that was not a good first hunt. Oh, there she is. Okay, now that my stamina has built back up again, I should be ready to run. So I'm just gonna have Q pressed so I'm already in the running mode, but then sneak up so I can get a bit of a head start on her. It should take maybe two more bites to finally down this elk. And oh, she already saw me. Unfortunately, I have some food here that hopefully the crows don't eat all of. So if I get injured, I can have a bit of uh, replenishment down there with that one. I'm so close. Come on. She's almost there. Grab the butt. Grab the butt. Oh, oh, she's angry now. She's using her last strength to defend herself. I feel really bad about this, but you know... That's that's how life is, so we kind of don't want to get kicked, because that is very painful. And already my health is pretty low. Come on, just grab her. Oh, <laughs> I kind of sprinted out of the way. Almost, just one more bite. Oh, there she goes, poor elk. Well, that's how we have to survive too. This is not a game for anyone who's a bit uncomfortable with gore and blood and such, because you can see the elk carcass does not hold back. That is a this is a very realistic game, so you do have to kill other animals to survive. Oh, there we go. I put the setting on good, and although some of the details have been lost, that is a lot smoother. Yeah, I guess my game just can't handle. The graphics being on the best but also having a screen recorder in the background what was that noise oh oh it's scaring birds out of the bushes oh i forgot about the little detail okay now that we've had our first successful hunt we should then go over you can see in the oh there's a coyote here let's just uh, get this guy for no reason oh it's kind of hard to when they weave in and out of the circles like that come on i'm a lot faster than you I'm not very strong, but I am almost there. You are it's pretty good. Come on. Ah, I got you. And that just netted us 25 experience points, which will come into play a bit later. Oh, I was going to say before we wandered into it, you want to keep an eye on the compass in the top left there, because that shows you where the different territories are. But we have already wandered into a wolf territory where a stranger wolf or maybe a pack member will be waiting for us. And now what I have to keep on the lookout for are little scent marks, which you will be able to tell from the colour RP. There are P marks all over the wolf's territory that will lead me towards where they are, but I don't really see- oh, I wandered out. Hang on, let's get back into the territory. So if I just wander around for a little bit, I should be able to find a trail of scent that will lead me to a new wolf. And what would I have to do? is there are three wolf territories across this area of Yellowstone and we have to visit all of them to find our mate. I'm not really seeing any sign of any marks yet. I hear geese. I hear a lot of geese, which is a sound I hear a lot in real life. Oh, there we go. There we go. You can see when the trail starts to become like split into three of them, uh, the wolf is pretty close. Is this it down here? Oh, a slough male. Mm, hello. What's up? And now we have some dialogue options for how we want to interact with this wolf. We can't actually befriend anyone because, you know, when you're not in a pack, that's just not really how wolves work. There's a lot of competition between predators, so I think we just want to stay put for now. 
Oh, he's no threat to us. He's not an aggressive wolf. He doesn't want to hurt us or anything. Um, it's cool. Cool. I don't want to. I don't want to fight with you either. You seem like a nice enough wolf guy. He's just kind of hanging around. So now that we've met one from this territory, uh, let's go. He's not threatening us or anything. We have no reason to attack. So let's just leave that slow mail alone to go back to their pack. Okay, that was the territory around the grassy plains, and now we probably want to make our way up to past Lamar Overlook, through the Fossil Forest, and to the Soda Butt Vista territory. We want to go and see the view of that butt. You know, this map when I was a kid, and even now, just felt vast. It's huge, and it's beautiful, and full of all sorts of details, and apparently in episode 3, and in, like, the revamped anniversary version... Oh, is that a fox? Oh, there's a fox here! <gasps> I don't think I'm fast enough for it, though. I've never been able to catch... Oh, that was so close. I've never been able to catch a fox on, um, single player. I think they're a bit slower on multiplayer, maybe to make it easier for friends, you know, try and hunt them down, but... The only time I've ever been successfully able to catch a fox is when playing with someone else, so, yeah. That's a little too fast for me. Oh, there's a coyote as well. We can catch this guy, though. Also, while we're doing this, you might have noticed a certain noise in the background. Can we see it? I think... Hmm, trying to get a good view of the sky. Maybe you can't. Well, I can't seem to, like, get the camera to go up there. I can't even remember if you can see it or not, or maybe it just plays the noise, but that's because we're wearing our radio collar. So that would be the plane that's keeping track of our movements. I think if we go to this pond here, there should be a bear that spawns. Oh, that reflection's a bit funky. <laughs> That's because my graphics are on, though. Is the bear here? Hmm, no bear. No, maybe he doesn't really spawn around here anymore. Usually, if you walk right up to that pond... Uh, oh, I'm stuck on something. I seem to be stuck in a ditch. Okay. Usually, in the past, when I've gone over there, there's been a giant... I think a grizzly bear that just appears suddenly out of the blue and it can be very jarring when you forget that it spawns there but I guess I guess maybe they've gotten rid of that hmm well we are back where we started and I'm pretty sure definitely if I run down here a coyote should spawn by this rock oh it's a bear okay okay that's where the bear is okay Hmm, if he gets that carcass, he's going to get very aggressive because he'll consider that his food, so I'm just going to chase him now, don't hurt me. Oh, there's a coyote as well. I was right about the coyote rock. Alright, oh, don't hurt me, bear, please. Look, all I want to do is scare you off. Because if you bite a bear butt a couple of times, then they really won't like that and they'll just run away. <laughs> and you get a lot of experience points for that. So, you know, when you see a bear, harass them. I really love the view up to the Soda Butt Vista. Look at this gorgeous, just this steep incline here is so cool. And when you get to the very top of it, you have an amazing view. Like this game, even on its... Oh, I fell in another ditch, help. Please. All that we're recording from this wolf is that Rover is just incredibly bad at not falling into ditches. Yeah, even on, you know, like the medium graphic setting, this game is just breathtakingly beautiful. Look at this open sort of brown, tan, green landscape. Oh, I really wish I could see something like this. I don't live in North America. We don't have these amazing sprawling forests and fields and stuff full of wolves and bears. The pea. There it is. There's the pea. There's the pea. Okay. <laughs> now we just need to follow these little, these little paths of pea down to a brand new wolf who hopefully is nice as the old one is. This one's a female with a cute little white body and brown face. Oh, she's angry. She's angry. Um, let's be submissive. I don't want to fight. Hmm. I'm no threat to you. Do not hurt me, druid female. Oh, she's not happy. She's not happy. I'm leaving. Goodbye. I'm sorry. I didn't want to come here. I'm going now. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> What we really want to do is head up to Amethyst Mountain to find that new wolf territory, so hopefully we'll find some carcasses on the way. If not, we can also have, you know, a second hunt, because we only really hunted down that one sick elk. I kind of want to have a go at chasing through an actual herd and see if we can successfully take one two of them down. 
And there should be a territory on the way. Yeah, if we just take a little detour over to the Douglas Fir Forest, that's where we'll find another elk herd. Alright, we are now in elk territory. I wonder where they are. Oh, I don't wanna don't wanna run into them or anything, scare them off. Let's see it. Oh. I just see something or was that a tree? That might have just been a tree. Sometimes, even with scent vision on, you don't encounter them until you're right on top of them. And then you risk scaring the whole herd away. There's a dead one over there. So they should be nearby, because that means something has managed to take one down pretty close, I imagine, to the herd. That looks pretty strong, actually. That oh! There we go, there's the trail for the herd. Now which way which way do we want to go down? Is it this way? Are they getting stronger or oh there they are! Alright. I'm gonna set my wolf to run. Oh they're coming this way! <laughs> I'm gonna set my wolf to run and then crawl with shift just so I can immediately start with a burst of energy as soon as as soon as one runs away. Now the thing about these elk herds is that the strong ones stand their ground, but the weak ones tend to run away just like that. So what we want to do is chase after the ones that run away. Oh no, I walked through a healthy one. Alright, let's see what we've got here. That one's not too weak. What about this one? That one's about the same. Maybe we'll just leave that one alone. We oh, wow, my health got super low. Alright, I'm going to leave these guys alone for a second there because I want to quickly not die in the first episode. Go away coyote. That's mine. Thank you. That's not a lot of elk. Oh, where's the... Okay, there's one down there too. Let's just go and grab at that. It's okay. Don't mind me. I'm not gonna... No, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Let's just eat that. Oh, there's not much of this one either. The ravens are eating all of my food. Okay, now I'm ready. Now I'm ready. So whichever one runs away, I'm gonna go for one of those guys. Oh, I can't see past the trees. Have they noticed me yet? There are leaves in the way. Oh, that one's running. That one's running away. Maybe you want to get that one. What about this one? Mm, kind of. You're, you know, ah, oh, no, let's go for it. Keep having to avoid the ones that are healthy and trying to actually hurt me. This one is not particularly fast, so... Hmm, we have another one next to us as well, though. <laughs> it's pretty unusual for a single wolf to be taking down an entire whole adult elk like this. Usually they do it in packs, you know, for a reason, because their strength in numbers. Oh, what's that over there? Is that a fox? <gasps> you come back. Err. Oh no, I'm too slow. Okay, let's not get distracted from the food. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying before I got distracted by a cute fox, that is, this is what predators will actually do. They will chase their prey down until the prey is totally exhausted and just can't run anymore, and then that's... that's when the predators lunge in, so it's not a pretty image of nature, but that's some, how some things have to survive. By butt biting. Ooh, if we can just get to the side of her and then come in. Yeah, that was very, very good wolf manoeuvring. <laughs> she is halfway down now. It should just be a couple more bites to go. My health is also halfway down. Do I have any food nearby? Oh, not really. There's one down there. That's kind of far away, though. Hopefully she'll chase us into another dead animal. <laughs> or maybe we'll find a hare. I haven't encountered a hare yet, so that could be a tiny burst of food if I should find one. Come on. Oh, okay. She should be about ready to fight back now. So I kind of want to stay away from those hooves. Let's see. Oh, I need some food. Well, there just aren't any carcasses nearby. I s oh the oh oh god. I have to I have to perform for the plane because otherwise I'm gonna look like a really weak wolf if I. Well, imagine if you were just flying overhead recording a very you know big strong adult wolf taking down the prey and they just got kicked in the face by an elk and died. What a terrible study that would be. Okay, I'm gonna give her one or two chomps. Well, maybe I'll actually be able to get her without her hurting me. We are at pretty even health here. Maybe I'm a bit stronger than she is though. Oh, this could be very risky. I might die on the very first try. That would not be good. Oh, wow. That was extremely close. Unfortunately, that carcass will get my health all the way back up there. I have never been so excited to see pee. 
Oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't see you there. What's up? It's a specimen male. I can wait. I'm no threat to you. Oh, they've, apart from that one scary druid female, they've all been pretty submissive so far. It's cool. Oh, they're just equally as submissive and scared as each other. That's cute. I'll stay put. Um, it's cool. One more, it's cool. And then if they still seem pretty skittish, we'll just, we'll just leave them be. D oh, wow. Okay. Um, you know what? You know what? You turned on me? Fine. Fi you want to fight? You want to fight? I've got to go. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much just called that specimen male's bluff here. It's just like, uh, excuse me. And then like, actually, you know what? I have, I have wolf business somewhere else. I'm sure this wolf won't mind if I just, you know, eat their food. They did. They did mind. Um, I'm feeling tough right now. I'm boss. Back off. Well, they kind of look like me. <laughs> No, I'm boss. I like to imagine this is what wolves actually do say. <laughs> oh, we are very evenly matched. Even our health is at the same kind of amount. <clears throat> Will I win this fight? Will I win my last wolf encounter before I find a mate? You know what? This guy isn't backing off. And one more bite is surely going to kill him. Do I feel aggressive enough to do that? Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Oh. <laughs> ah, the circle of life, everyone. Wolf attacks wolf. Wolf attacks wolf again. Wolf makes other wolf disappear through the floor. Oh yeah, this plane is watching me take on a whole bear. Are you guys getting this? Oh, 200 experience points. Nice. You chase that grizzly away. Yeah, get a load of that plane. Oh, there's the plane. Oh, it didn't see me do it. It was all the way over there. No plane, come back. Let's just take a second to appreciate that skybox. Yeah. That is one convincing. <laughs> you know what? This game is beautiful. I'm not going to make fun of it because I love everything about it. Even the very two dimensional skybox. Okay, what I have to do is obtain a set amount of experience points, apparently, but it doesn't actually say how many. I'm at 685, so maybe. Maybe it's hopefully not 1000. That would take quite a while, but uh, I'm just going to go and chase a few more things down until I have a lot of experience and then we'll finally find a mate. I guess if I chase him off I'll get some experience so I don't really want to be mean to this perfectly submissive little guy but you know sometimes sometimes when you want a wolf girlfriend you gotta do these things you gotta prove yourself and then all of the dispersal females flock to you there we go, look for a mate. We finally got the enough experience point. We need over 800 experience points. Okay, there we go. I probably should have looked that up before we started, but oh, hopefully I cut quite a lot of that down so that wasn't really as long as it felt. But uh, so my ideal mate, about two years old, a dispersal wolf like myself and good temperament, not too aggressive. We don't want an aggressive mate. We want, uh, we want one that's not like me, who just kills everything they see. So, to do that very quickly, I'm not going to bother going all the way down to another wolf territory. I'm just going to come out of this one and then go back in so we can spawn a brand new wolf and hopefully it's the female. Are you a dispersal female? Uh, hello? <gasps> dispersal female! I'm not sure about this. Oh, look at her little pattern. She's so cute, like a little tawny fur. I like her. Uh, I want to say hello there. It'll be smooth. Hello there. I like you. Does she like us back? She likes us back. Oh, look at the little mouth sniff. That's so sweet. Is she kind of floating above the ground? That kind of ruins it a bit. Uh, let's play. I'm not going to say I want to be boss. Why, why would that be something I want to say to this poor girl? I've got to go, I've got cold feet. Uh, let's start a pack. 
Seems a little soon, but you know, animals, they kind of get on with these things. Oh, they're licking each other's mouths. <laughs> And one more Let's Start a Pack or to do it. This wolf becomes your mate. We finally got one, okay. What do we want to name this cute, kind of tawny coloured wolf? The markings really here she really blends into the surroundings doesn't she so maybe we should name her something earth based how about hmm i think it'd be cute if we named her tawny after her fur color quest for a mate completed congratulations you've bonded with your mate to complete the amethyst mountain quest now your mate will be your hunting and exploration partner so now that we have another wolf with us she will help us take down some elk and i think maybe other predators and well, I'm not sure about that. Maybe she'll fight for us, but she will help us out with hunting down elk. Look how fast she is. She's about, she's even faster than me, I think. That'll be, that'll probably mean she's very strong though. So between us, we probably aren't very balanced, but wow, she is super speedy. All right, now that we finally, finally got our mate Tawny, next time we'll be transferring over to part two of the Wolf Quest game, which will be exploring around a new area, Slough Creek. We'll be raising our new pack of wolves that we've made here. I don't know what to name ourselves yet. We should probably give ourselves a name, even though it's just like two of us. But soon there will be puppies and we'll be a proper official wolf pack and everything. Oh, look, they're running it to each other. That was really cute. Okay, now that we're done, I'm going to call it an episode here. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>